How's it going everyone? It's your boy Cog plays FIFA. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do simple dribbles like you just see there to get round keepers and also get round players with smooth circle inputs which I do explain is one of the best ways to get round players. I also do use buzz running animation on my pro which is my favourite one to get round players this year. I do find it's the most smooth but again guys the LB speed boost which I'm performing here which is where you tap the left bumper or L1 pull back in the opposite direction where the defender is coming and quickly change direction with tapping the sprint button or holding the sprint button depending on how far the distance is as you see there completely sent those defenders all the way to the shops now with that spin there as well this is how you practice the spins i'll slow it down there you want to be doing a smooth circle on the stick do not press any other buttons no sprint or anything like that and again you want to combine these left stick circles in the skill games you want to pick the practice scenario which is the best one, um, in my opinion, for anything like skill game, uh, uh, for skill moves or practicing dribbles, shooting, etc. Practice scenarios, attacking scenarios, they're the best ones to go through. If you haven't unlocked them yet, you need to just do all the basics. But I do recommend getting that unlocked so you can practice them with um, yourself on your own because you can actually use your teammates in their skill games, which I hope EA one day they do add that. But again, guys, using the LB speed boost is really important. And again, with the right trigger, you want to be using that agile dribbling on the sides like you see my teammate do there that is a very important feature this year as well using the right trigger or right sorry right bumper it will be for most people so i'll say right trigger because that's what it is for me i use bumper for sprint but with that it's a very important way to get past players this year on the sides i do recommend it in a side on situation with the fullbacks etc it's really good for getting past people so it gives you that glide effect now again guys this is a simple tutorial i will be doing a hand cam next so leave a like if this video did help i really hope this does because again guys i can only give you the littlest insights and you can look at the controller in the top right as well just to see what i do if you if you want any more detail again guys hope this helps leave a sub as well if you're new around here and this video again guys if it does get the likes and the feedback i'll try and do a hand cam so take it easy